Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Miami. We're here in the 737-800. Uh, I've got developer mode turned on this morning with the FPS counter because um, I want to show you guys something that I did that's very, very simple to do. I kind of I found this on uh, just by chance, really. Um, there's a lot of conflicting information about what you can do, what you can't do, and uh, and I made the changes, figured it out, and it's. Um, the real short story is normally in Miami, I fly out of Miami all the time. I fly out of Miami uh, at least five times a week. Um, so I know my performance at this airport um, just sitting at the gate, right? And I've got everything turned on that I normally have turned on. I've got the PMDG 737 loaded. And uh, normally when I'm sitting here in Miami, I get between 30 and 33 frames per second. Uh, and that's generally with TAA, um, and I see no difference between TAA and DLSS and all this fun business. Um, and these are the ultra settings that I've always used, so nothing's changed, um, except now I'm getting 44, 45, 43 uh, in the same situation where I normally only get... Uh, a lot less than that. I don't know what that was, that window over there. But anyway, um, so like I said, being here, being in here in the cockpit and setting things up and making my changes, 22555, five, 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 da, da, da. Um, and let's roll this. Uh, it seems to be, oh, it's probably frozen. No, it's not frozen. Okay. Um, you can see the... Uh, the numbers are blurred a little bit when I move, and the reason that when I move the uh, the altimeter, and the reason is, is because what I've got set here is um, DLSS, DLAA, which is not what I normally use. I normally use TAA. And like I said, I get the same frame rates on TAA as DLSS uh super performance dlss quality blah 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 it's oh i always get the same frame rates makes no difference and it doesn't bother me because that's that's uh, the only thing i'm really looking for is, is a smooth performance and crisp graphics that's all i care about um so again back inside the airplane here we're looking at 4041 now what i did was that made the difference is i upgraded my dlss dll file now, ask me what that is. I have absolutely no idea. I don't know what a DLL file is. Um, don't know what it does. Don't care what it does. Um, but what I do know um, is that uh, there's a lot of conflicting information about which cards you can use this update with, what you should update to, etc. I have an RTX 3080 Ti. So I have a 3000 card. Um, you will see a bunch of sources online that say you cannot do this with a 3000 card. You can, um, and I'll show you how to do it. So the trick is, uh, let me show you first the, so this is kind of all the tech that's built into, and you can see all the research I've been doing over here. This is all the, te the tech that's built into their RTX 2030 cards and the RTX 40 cards. The only thing you can't do with an RTX 30 card or 20 card for that matter that you can do with an RTX 40 card uh, is uh, frame generation, right? So it's not going to give you, you're not going to go from 30 frames per second to 90 frames per second. That's not going to happen. But everything else works. Now, when some people, so this DLSS DLL file, right? Uh, and I'll put all these links in the description. Um, it's right here if you want to read it from there. Um, now, you'll see a lot of sources online that say you can't upgrade a 30 card, an RTX 3070, 3060, 3080, 3090, past the DLSS DLL 2.5.1. That is not true. You can upgrade to the latest or update to the latest, which is 3.5.10. Um, it just won't give you the frame generation. Everything else works. Okay, again, I don't know what it is, don't know how it works, don't care. Um, so you come here, you click download, you download the file, you guys are pretty bright, you can figure this out. 
And where you put it is now on my this is on my C drive. Uh, Xbox games, and then in the Xbox games folder, I've got two of them. I don't know why. Maybe I'm assuming it's because I'm in the beta. Um, so I replaced them in both folders. But you go into your Microsoft Flight Simulator folder, into your content folder, and there's a fo- there's a file called nv nvngx underscore dlss dot dll. That's the file uh, that you download from here. Okay, when you download this file, that's the file you're getting. You unzip it, save it somewhere. I made a backup, um, which I forgot where I put it. I think I put it in uh, somewhere on my D drive. But anyway, so for the 3000 series series cards, you want the DLSS file. For a 4000 series car, you want the card. You want the DLSS G card. Um, that's the fr- uh, file. That's the frame generation file, right? So we'll just do this for for entertainment purposes here. So again, this is for the DLSS, the one that I have, the 3000 card. Uh, if you want the DLS G, just Google that, and you'll find it. Um, and you download it, make a backup of this file, and then put this file in your content folder. I overwrote it. I just dragged it from where I had the backup and overwrote it. Um, and then what you do is, uh, you, you, if you right click it and go to properties and details the one that I had uh, before I updated this yesterday was 3.4.1 which I believe um, is like a year old let's see yeah 2.4.1 is what I had so that's from August of 22 um, so I updated from that to this 3.5.1, and you can see there's the 3.5.1. Um, I did not update this file, the G file. So if you look at that, it's 1.0, and this is from January of 23. Now, there is some, I did read in some places that Microsoft Flight Simulator itself updates these files it didn't update mine so i wouldn't assume that it updated yours um so again here in this in my other folder which don't know why i have two but i updated them both 3.5.1 and let's see this this is the frame generation file okay so i must have updated both of them so that's all you do download the file make a backup of the DLSS file if you are on a 3 or a 2 series card do this with the DLSG file if you're on a 3 series card and the proofs in the pudding right here 41.242 now I'll kick out of here real quick go back to what I always do which is TAA apply and save resume Again, like I told you, I always get the same, um, you know, frame rates with TAA. Um, it is a little bit, um, you know, you do get a little bit of blurriness here with uh, with DLSS, DLAA. Say that three times fast. Um, and I haven't had a chance to use it in flight, so I don't really know. I tried I tried it the other day before I did this update. And as I was taxiing with the compass rose swinging, it left like ghosting marks in it. And it just annoyed me, so I stopped using it. Um, this is a little less crisp than, um, you know, than the TAA. But, uh, you know, and frankly, if I'm going to get the same performance from TAA, that I get from DLSS. I'm just going to use TAA like I always have. As you can see here, just look at that while I rotate this, you know, and then we'll switch back. Uh, no, that's what I'm looking for. 
and resume. See this here. Now I don't get uh, see. So I mean, for me, for the same frame rates, literally with this crispness, I'm not gonna. I'm probably not gonna use this. Um, but if, you know, everybody knows with Microsoft Flight Simulator, different people with different setups, different people with the same setup can have the same can have different results. Um, but I've gone from 30 to 33 to 40 to 43 without changing anything except from updating that one file. And I'll show you the last thing I'll do, show you real quick what my settings are. I basically turn on, uh, set this to, um, to uh, ultra and then uh, the stock ultra and then I, I make sure that water waves are on high and I make sure that motion blur is off and that's all I do so this is basically stock ultra um, in Miami with a 3080 Ti card getting 43 frames per second on the ground and this is a tough airport I mean so if you're if you're you know in uh, you know, a less built up area, you're going to get a lot more. And you can see just by looking off into the distance here, now I'm getting 45 to 46. Um, so I don't know what this is going to do for you guys. I think it's certainly worth a try. Um, and there's just so much conflicting information out there. I just wanted to show you guys what I did, the results I got. If you try this, please do me a favor and put the, and do everybody else a favor and put a comment uh, and let us know how it worked. Um, this is not a clickbait, you know, video. I'm, I'm, this is what I did, and this is what I got, and it's pretty awesome. So, um, and I, I had never even heard of DLSS update before. I don't, I, I don't know where I even saw it um, that I decided to give it a try. But uh, hope you guys are doing well, and I hope this helps somebody. So let us know.